So this morning I'm in an area of Copenhagen on Ammer, close to Die Erbun, which is the um, big television station here. And it's an area called Sunholm. And today I'm coming to meet a gentleman called Oliver Maxwell, who um, runs a company um, called Booby. Now, Booby literally means city bee, and they make honey. They have hives all around the city. They make urban honey, but also make a massive contribution to the ecosystem in Copenhagen. So this is the entrance to the place, and we're going to go in. We're going to meet Oliver today. We're going to take a look around about what they're doing here in their central um, office, and I guess you might call it a factory. Um, so we're going to go in there, and later on in the video, we're also going to see a little bit more of their work out in the city. So the question is, when we started this project, when we looked at these bees at this time when we're facing unprecedented environmental change, huge changes in our welfare society and in our, in our way of organising ourselves, what can we learn from the bees now? What do we need to look at? What can we see in them that we can take back to our own society? And I think that the fundamental question that human beings have to answer today is simply the question of how we can live together on a planet with other species in a way that contributes to the flourishing of human relationships, of other species, of spaces and people. Um, so that in our way of consuming and producing and organising, we're making a richer environment and more inclusive communities instead of the, uh, the destruction and the simplification and the, uh, the vulnerability that we're building into our system that we have now. And this is what lies behind our project in Booby. For us, we want to use every beehive and every bee as a catalyst for creating richer communities and for a richer environment. For us, we want to convert passive consumers into active co-producers, so that the gift that is the honey that we get from the bees flows onwards into the system to encourage people to plant more flowers, to connect with each other, to learn and be curious about the magical world that honeybees can offer us. For the next part of this video, um, I've joined Oliver at a talk in the botanical gardens in the centre of Copenhagen where they have a number of hives. He has a small group of people who've come along to hear more about the work that Booby do and also looking at the hives that they have here. Oliver's pulling out the I'm going to call them bee trays, I'm not sure what they're called, I'm sure we'll find out. After the morning in the Botanical Gardens, I've now come back over to the main headquarters on AMA and uh, they're having a really busy day here today. They've got people um, harvesting the honey, which we're going to see a little bit of later on. But there's also a big team of people from L'Oreal here having a, a day where they're doing some environmental things around the place. Um, L'Oreal is one of the companies that um, hosts some of uh, Booby's hives in, uh, near their headquarters. So they're here doing some activities as well. Go. I'd love to try. Right, so here we have the frame, and Watch right now we need to do is uh, to decap it. Because uh, what we can see, what, how we can tell the honey is finished is uh, when the bees put the wax on. So uh, we know now that the honey is mature and it's ready to, to decap. Should I put gloves on? And uh, in order to do that, we use uh, this tool over here. You can see this one is has been removed. Would you like it? And then you need to uh, put it over here. Yes, but I think the I can show you a new one. Or like take the the dark one? Yes. There are different ways of doing this, but if you need to not go so deep because then a lot of the honey will be lost in the in the wax. And we need as much honey possible in the sling. So this is what it looks like with decapped honey comb, and now it's uh, when we have done this with all the uh, the frame, it's ready to uh, move over here, and this is the waiting process to get in the sling. All right, so in here we have the sling, and uh, we put the frames down here, and uh, this uh, batch is all done right now. So oh, I think maybe. This one, you can try and uh, hold this, it doesn't weigh anything okay. compared to the, to the frames that they are standing over there decapping, it will weigh approximately around 2 to 3 kilos uh, per frame, so in here we have 30 frames 
and when uh, it's full, it will start turning uh, slowly and then faster and faster. And then when it's going really fast, you can see that it's raining with honey down there on the side, and then the honey will be collected in the bottom, and then we open uh, the holes here in the bottom, and then uh, it will come out. And then we'll filter through there, and another one over here. We'd like each person that comes in contact with our organisation, whether they're a consumer or a neighbour or just somebody who lives in the city, to become a co-producer of what it is we're making. That means planting flowers, that means coming to visit us, it means joining our events, it means learning about what the bees do and how they share our window boxes and flowers and plants and gardens. It means both being curious and active to create a physical change in the city to make it more accommodating, uh, to make it more uh, uh, attractive to other species than humans to share.